to his fans, Big Punisher, or Big Pun, represented one of the true success stories in the rap music industry. So it came as no surprise that word of his untimely death on Monday sent shockwaves through the neighborhood he called home. I knew him from when I was little, growing up here, you know, and he was a positive person. He was always looking to get into good things. You know what I mean? And he finally made it to, to the rap industry, what was what he always wanted. And he was a good artist. Born Christopher Lee Rios, the 28-year-old Bronx-born star was pronounced dead, possibly of a heart attack, at White Plains Hospital Monday afternoon. It was no secret Rios struggled with his weight, and the artist, talking to New York One's Dean Memminger in 1998, spoke of his health concerns. When I swallow lose my weight, because I don't want to get bigger, you know, I want to be healthy. So, you know, just got to work hard, get it off. He is survived by his wife, Liza, three young children, and millions of fans. As a testament to his impact, a group of young artists have chosen this wall as the site for a new mural, designed and painted in Big Pun's memory. He was a friend, not only was he a friend, but he was a Latino who was out here representing, you know, for our people, and it's only right that we come out to represent for him as a friend and as a people, you know what I'm saying? He was someone who was a positive image, a role model, this community for the kids coming up. As the first Latino rap artist to sell more than a million albums, with his debut entitled Capital Punishment, Rios enjoyed his stardom, but he also returned the favor, opening up a business on Westchester Avenue. I'm experimenting right now, showing them something where the kids get out the cold in the winter, especially play a little pool, video games, you know, hang out, got the barbershop next door. If this is successful, I'll have 10, 20 more all over the Bronx. But Big Pun's reach extended well beyond the Latino neighborhoods of New York City. Bronx entrepreneur and longtime friend Jimmy Rodriguez says Rios' death is a loss for music fans across the country. His music was a great impact on all communities because his music was able to bond everybody together. And um, when you can see kids in Arkansas singing his music, saying Boricua Morena, coming together, two communities, I mean, some of, that we've always been able to do. But um, he was just so important to everyone because he started it and he brought it together, and it's just a sad loss. In the Bronx, Jay Dow, New York One.